here we have a definite integral. So we are going to find the antiderivative here and then we'll use the fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate. So I've got an x, so I'm going to do one higher power, x squared, reciprocal of the power. And then I'm looking at the antiderivative for negative cosine, so that's going to be negative sine x, because the derivative of sine is cosine and we needed the negative on there. And now we need to take that and evaluate it from 0 to pi over 4. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do f of pi over 4 minus f of 0. So 1 half putting in pi over 4 squared minus sine putting in pi over 4 and then minus 1 half putting in 0. And remember we're subtracting so the negative sine x will become a positive when we subtract and putting in 0. So now let's just simplify what we can. The numerator here is going to be pi squared. The denominator is going to be 4 squared which is 16 and then that will be multiplied by the 2. So that's going to be 32 minus sine of pi fourths. I think of the unit circle. Pi fourths is right there. Square root 2 over 2 and square root 2 over 2. So that's going to be minus square root 2 over 2. And then 0 is 0. Sine of 0 is also 0. So there's my final answer in exact form.